I'm Steve Long. I describe myself as a crop physiologist and I study the process of photosynthesis in crops and how we can make it more efficient. Photosynthesis is the process that converts sunlight energy into the food that we're producing. We wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for photosynthesis. I was born and brought up in, in London, England. The high school I went to was probably bottom of the pile, but I had an exceptional biology teacher who really wowed me on plants. And I knew that was what I wanted to study, but being an idealist teenager, I wanted to do something that would make a difference to the world. And at that stage of the 60s, there were still major famines in the world. And so it seemed combining plants with solving agricultural problems would be a way forward. And so I decided to go to the University of Reading, which is one of the leading agriculture schools in Britain, to study agriculture. Much of my research has been on the process of photosynthesis. And so I reached the stage in my career where what I really needed was a lot of computing power to simulate the process of photosynthesis. Colleagues working on photosynthesis and a farm where the ideas could be tested out. There was really only one place in the world which had all of those three. Illinois, of course, it's been a centre for photosynthesis research for over 50 years. Two of the three major discoveries in photosynthesis were made at the University of Illinois. It's almost unique among the land grants in having its research farm right adjacent to campus, indeed with the Mora plots right on campus. Once I was in Illinois, I then had the opportunity to make use of the computer facilities and the goal there was to simulate the whole photosynthetic process, about 160 steps. That now made a number of predictions on how we might be able to alter the process in crop plants to get more yield. My group have published a number of papers on this and luckily for us the Gates Foundation started reading those papers and got interested in what we were predicting. They came up with, well, how about we put our money where your mouth is and you show us this can really work. A requirement of our funding from the Gates Foundation is that these new technologies that they're developing must be freely available, i.e. royalty free, for poor farmers in developing countries. Arguably, photosynthesis is the most important process on our planet. Because population is rising and the global population is becoming far more urban, the United Nations Food and Agricultural Organization predict that by the year 2050, we're going to need 70% more food than we're producing today. Any innovation we make is not going to be in farmers' fields at any scale for probably 20 years. So if we don't start today, it will be too late. These findings and advances have considerable relevance to Illinois because we are the largest producer of soybean, we are the second largest producer of maize. So if we could, for example, get, as we have now with this technology, 14 to 20 percent yield increases, that would make a big difference to farm incomes. Several students, undergraduates, postgraduates, and also postdoctoral fellows who are engaged with this project. This is giving them a view of agriculture across the world and particularly the new technologies which we need to make a difference to meet the growing food demand of the globe. This finding where we've just made one modification that has boosted crop yield is really a boost to the whole area because if we can improve photosynthetic efficiency in crops, we will get more yield. 